Today's journey takes us to beautiful Madison, Indiana. And before we get started and into the story, please note that nobody in the city today has anything to do with what happened to this cemetery. This was over 100 years ago. I was walking through Springdale Cemetery working on another story to bring you when I happened upon this collection of headstones. At first I thought that perhaps this is a family plot or of people involved in a certain organization. As I got closer to the stones I noticed a sign and I absolutely had to find out exactly what I was looking at. Old 3rd Street Cemetery in Madison was established in 1839 on a piece of property that was donated by the founder of the city of Madison, John Paul. He was actually buried there himself. Somewhere along the way, the cemetery fell into some serious disrepair and in the early 1900s, it was considered and declared abandoned. So what did the city decide to do? The city officials made the decision to remove all the stones that could be found and move them to this cemetery to create a memorial. But why? Why did this happen? The leaders of the day decided that the property would be better served as a park, so this led to the creation of John Paul Park. I want you all to chime in on this in the comments. Personally, I don't have a good feeling about this at all. Also, just to let you all know, the bodies were left. Only the stones were removed. So the final remains of those individuals are below the surface of this park with their stones in a completely different location. I had to go there. I wanted to see for myself what this former cemetery, now a park, actually looked like. And you can see here that there is a nice little structure that tells about the history of the park and what happened that led to its creation. I do understand that the cemetery was abandoned, but I would have loved for this historic place to have been restored to its original purpose, the town cemetery. I noticed steps leading down to the park and based on my research, I believe that these are the original steps that led down to the cemetery. I didn't walk on them, but I was able to see some sort of ball field below the park. Please comment and let me know of your thoughts on this unbelievable story of the past. My links will be in the description for my Patreon and website, and another video of mine will be on the screen soon. It is my hopes that you will watch it. Once again, from Madison, Indiana, I will see you again soon.